What's up, everybody? This is Cobra Seat Capshaw slash Mr. Smiles a lot and Brandon Kachar slash Security Coach 314. So, today we're going to go over some basic martial arts drills and how to get out of certain situations and things of that nature. So, as you all know, I have been practicing martial arts since I was five years old and I'm still practicing today and I'm very highly trained in martial arts. Now, I'm not saying I'm a black belt and no, I'm not a master, but I do know what I'm doing and I do know what I'm talking about. Hence why Freddie D'Angelo, uh, Fred Dickerson, is my uh, boxing student and I'm his boxing coach, right? And so Brandon here, he's been technically trained in military martial arts, uh, security martial arts for the mall, things like that. So what we're gonna do today is that we're both gonna show our different skills, not show off, you know, but our different skills of what we know in different situations and how to get out of them and things like that, right? So the first drill that I was showing him was now this is a little bit of hard body joint manipulation and what i mean by that is you don't always need to know how to take their finger and do this or do that if you're a it doesn't matter if you're big or strong or you know skinny and strong bony strong like him right it can hurt either way and if anything it'll hurt more for against a guy like me so the first basic drill what i'm going to show you is it's called well i like to call ripping up the arm so what he's going to do is he's going to throw a punch and i'm going to show you an outward block and as I block I'm gonna rip down his arm with my forearm into his arm right and that's where the hard body training and the hard body joint manipulation comes into play and then after that what I'm demonstrating is the inward el elbow uh, sweep throw so after I come in here I'm gonna come in this way and turn here while going to his elbow and there's two th there's a lot of things you can do but my favorite is while you have this other arm trapped you hit him in the throat there and then you take your arm, right after you hit him, you take your arm, keep it there, trip him this way while kicking out the other leg. So for demonstration, we're gonna do it slow, then we're gonna start going a little bit fast, and then I'm gonna let him do it as well. So he throws that right hand at me. So watch, coming in. coming in, so I'm gonna block here, right? I'm gonna come, so then this is where I trap his hand here, and see this arm here? I'm gonna come in here, and just, I'm not really gonna tear into his skin, because he's my friend, but, you get the idea, so I'm going to come in here with my forearm against this forearm, if I, and I'm going to pull down at the same time, and then I'm going to come in here, um, see, here's where my elbow is in his elbow, but see, I'm twisting my body, so I'm going to twist it this direction, I'm going to see how he's already moving, right, and I'm either going to hit him here, or if I can't hit him, like I said, I'm going to move this direction real quick, here, f f uh, follow me, if I have him this direction here, well, okay, my advantage is, all I got to do is just take my hand here, like I said, and trip this other leg out while pulling that direction. Same thing with the right side. So let's see, he throws that right hand, right? Oh, left, right? Le yeah, right. Le right. Le left hand, I'm sorry. Oh, left come in. Yeah, here. left. Okay. So boom. All right, so same thing. I'm going to trap in here. Bang. Slide down. Trap in here. And then see, now he's open to where I can't hit him. Or boom. <laughs> no, but here and there. See? So that's what that first drill is. So a little bit faster, if we're going to throw that right hand at me, let's say we were like in a real situation, right? He throws right, it right. See, that was a little fast, but you saw what I did there. I See, yeah. I threw the... Yeah, I threw the trip fast, but your leg was already there, so right. I got excited. But you saw how I still got everything in there at the same time, right? So do that again. That right's coming in. So I went boom, 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 without even trying, without even thinking about it. See, that's why we drill these things, because that's why this drill is important. So if there's a, from the left side. So from the left side. Already, see? That's all it takes. That's why you learn how to do these things. That's why you learn how to keep your fighting center. That's why you learn how to do these outward <laughs> drills and things like that. And people think, oh, these little things in real street fight don't work. He came at me pretty hard with a real punch. Like, yeah, we're messing around, but if I didn't get out of the way there, block it out of the way, he would have hit me. I felt the force behind that. And you saw how well that worked. And all I did was, see what I'm saying? So just because people say it doesn't work, it's because they aren't practicing it. And that's also a move they can use for an armbar roll takedown too. Armbar roll takedown. Exactly.
Okay. And we'll show you that in a little, uh, in a little while. Demonstrations. Right. So here's the second one, right? So as you well know, my favorite thing to practice is just throw a few punches at me, right? Okay. Right. Is to always keep, throw another one, keep it here, whether it, right? I'm not exactly showing you Wing Chun. I'm showing you more of, so real quick. So when we're doing these, I'm showing you a mix of everything that I've learned. It might look a lot, a lot like Wing Chun and Jeet Kune Do, which it is, but as you can see, I mix boxing, I mix wrestling, I mix it all together. So my own way, this is in my own style of martial arts, which I can show to other people besides boxing as well. Um, this is my own Systema or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> system of Fighting. Now you think, well, am I really a master? Well, after this demonstration video and the other videos you've seen, I hope that, you know, gives you good faith and I know what I'm doing. But anyway, so here's another good one, okay? So if you want to um, close that gap, and there's there's a lot of different ways to do it, because in real life, in every fighter trains for about a five second fight in real life, All right? So let's say we're here, right? we're a five second fight, boom, right? If I hit him there and he doesn't see it coming, I'm just gonna follow up with whatever I want to do, right? That's a five second fight. So we can sit here and we can do all these drills and do all this and that pitter patter and stuff, which is good because if we weren't doing all the pitter patter, I wouldn't know how to move and we wouldn't know how to know how to fight back very well. But that's the point of why you do that. See, so when it comes to closing the gap it is closing that five second gap so either you can stand there and you can wait for the hit to come in right and you can do whatever from there or what you can also do is that like i said you can close that gap so you know bah! you know or like that or as soon as he comes in or even without even thinking about it, just you know uh so i'm kind of rambling on here but here's a drill we're going to show you okay so do here we're gonna do uh -huh. what I like to do known as, as, as like a double block which is a, I think if I'm correct like a like a karate block um, I think I remember that from karate if I'm correct so that's like that but we're not going hard we're relaxing See, it's all about relaxing you know what I'm saying so he throws that jab at me right so I'm just coming here relaxing right so he throws that right at me so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this backhand I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna throw this arm into his body I'm come all the way through and just rip into him or I'm gonna grab him give him a knee or that it's already here boom one thing that he showed me which I liked a lot was trapping both arms in and then tripping them from there kind of like with the elbow thing except this time you step on the foot because he asked me about that so Brandon why don't you show that okay so I'm gonna throw that left at you okay boom right and I'm gonna throw that right bang right and remember so you what you did is that you went all the way both the yeah, both arms this yeah here let's go this way so they can see us okay all right so he came in all the way like this he had both arms strapped and look he's stepping on my foot right and the way he's doing he's just pushing me with the shoulder i can't do anything or if i really wanted to i can try Take, to give a good grip of both arms and give me with the forearm and i can go like this <gasps> with more force yeah and with the forearm too so if he steps on my foot there and if he's got both arms down here he can rank his forearm oh, on my yeah, throat that too yep to do uh, blocking techniques mm -hmm. and takedowns too. Exactly. So let's say that uh, we're going to throw that left and that right. He's going to he's going to do that relax block here. And I'm going to throw that right hand. He's going to do that inward block. He's going to come down and either hit me, trip me, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to go left on you first. Okay. So, bloom, bang, bang. There you go. A lot of times when people, the, here's what I mean by closing the gap as well. Okay. Uh, because we got another other field a few drills I want to show as well, but what we mean by closing the gap is here's a five second rule, okay? So somebody's gonna put their hands up, and as soon as they do, you can sit there, you can wait. But let's say he's gonna put his hands up like like he wants to fight me. Ready? Notice how I immediately trapped in, and I got both arms, and I yanked. So here, you're like, what happened? Here's that in slow motion. <laughs> All right, so here you go. So he comes in like this. So look, I came in, I went like that. I trapped his hands like this and went like that. And then I threw a hook into his face like that. See? So the, and I well, while sinking, so that way I get get his body posture off and use his his um, against to my advantage. And another thing from here, always make sure you got both these arms trapped, no matter what. So even if I'm slip switching to the other hand and hitting me with the other hand, boom. Boom, it doesn't matter which way I'm going, especially if I do, like I said, a trip here or step on his foot, like he was saying, and I can come to the outside, I can trip him like this. There's a lot of things I can do. I can come here, give him a good push. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put up my hands like I want to fight, and then he's going to do the same thing to me. Okay, ready? So I'm just like, hey, you know, like this. Oh, oh, there you go. Perfect.
Oh, oh, there you go. Perfect. Nice. There is also another technique too that can be used with handcuffing and that too. Right. Yeah. So. So for those of you that are like in law enforcement, public safety, security, industry fields. If you guys are qualified in handcuffs and that kind of stuff and do have MDS, uh, MDTS training with defensive tactics, that's uh, another technique too you guys can do. So the same thing, he'll put his hands up, right? The same thing he did. Like, come on, except, like. Except you come in like this, clap them both in. Come make in make sure they can see, make sure they can see. Let me step over here. And try to get, try to watch his foot controls too because he can also strike me with the foot too. So notice he can't do anything, right? Like I'm chopped in, I can easily reach for my cuffs if you can. But if you can't, then that's when you would take them to the ground like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. And like we were saying, if he wanted to put some extra force, he would take me to the ground by putting my hand on my shoulder and putting his form in my chest and pushing this direction. Mm -hmm. Hence why, like in martial arts, we do things like this or we do things like that or we do things like that, like these elongated things because it turns into these short but effective hits, right? So, like, like do that again to me. Like, here, hey, let's go over here again. Had me trapped, right? Okay. All right, so remember, notice how you have me like this? Okay, so here's what I'm saying. You can do this if you want to, but remember, make sure you're facing me so that way you can put all your force on me because if you're always, if you're sideways on me, you have, you've got nothing. Right. But if you're here, right, you can push me this way and then watch. See how you can just use your form and push me forward yeah. while pushing my shoulder. Yep, see, now I'm really off balance. See, so another drill that one of my favorites is okay so remember it's the uh, oh yeah so what we're gonna do is that when it comes to martial arts my favorite thing to show people is you know the foot pivot here or here moving slipping things like that but when a lot of people don't realize when it comes to fighting they think oh all I'm gonna do is just throw slips or, or I'm sorry I'm just gonna try to slip I'm just gonna try to block well, when it comes to a real fight, why not do both? Why not try both? It is way more effective. Okay, so let me give you an example. Put your hands up. All right, let's say he throws a right in my face, right? Boom, I could slip, right? Okay. Like, no, no, do it again. Same right hand. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Yeah. Or I could come here and I could block. Uh -huh. Do it again. I could come here and block again, right? You know, give him one of these. Or I can mix it together. A slip and a block with a pivot, right? So watch. Do it again. See how much more effective that is? Yep. Now, my, you might think, well, how much energy do I use? I'm moving my whole body. That's going to wear me out. No, it's not. No, it's, I'm not even breathing heavy. I'm just already here. And I, he leaves himself exposed for me to, you know, rip into him, right? So I'm going to move around for good demonstration. I'm going to move around a little bit. He's going to throw some, like, medium, you know, punches at me. Nothing, like, crazy hard like that first one we did for the demonstration. But it, I was just trying to show you the demonstration. But he's going to throw punches at me about, you know, to, to the equivalent, right? When I don't expect it, I'm just going to block and move out of the way and do some head movement. Because I'm going to show you how effective mixing head movement with martial arts can be. Okay, ready? So just, we're gonna just move around a little bit, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. So, like, my favorite one that I noticed is that we were here and through that elongated one. And I noticed I blocked and I came all the way over here. That was my favorite one here because the thing is that I really got out of his way. That really helped prove the point of slipping and blocking at the same time could be effective because I could have came up and did this, this. You don't realize that 
there were a lot of openings that I saw, but I didn't fight back because I'm showing you how to block and move at the same time. What were you going to say? And uh, that's also a good technique too, to take him into a rear wrist lock too. Yep, exactly. So like say if he had me right there, yep. like you were, he can easily get me into a rear wrist lock. Right, so you can do this. You see, I can't move. I don't have control of my hand. Yeah, I can do I this. Yep. Just. <laughs> There's a lot of things to know. Yep. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing Same thing to you. I'm going to throw medium punches. You're just going to move your head and block at the same time. I'm not going to go too fast because remember, like, yeah. you know, I'm not saying you're not good at this drill, but you're just kind of getting used to this quick blocking yeah. stuff because when it comes to your tactical training, you're more used to hard blocking and hitting right. back. Well, yeah, I'm trying to show you how to... Oh, of course, in a real fight. Okay, remember, well, you know how when you did that and I came and I did that? Yeah. That's, that's a real situational fight thing, right? We were just having fun, though. Right. But that's why... We learned to stay relaxed because you notice how easily I did that and I stayed relaxed. I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see, so his type of stuff is for like fighting and self-defense and stuff. And like the stuff I'm trained in and know is for like handcuffing and uh, uh, restrainings and stuff mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah, But we'll exactly. get to that shortly though. Yeah, sure. Exactly. All right, so I'm going to, what was it again? I'm going to throw that punch. Oh yeah, so I'm going to come here, right? Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, ready? So I'm going to move around. All right, yep. So don't lean as much because you, you immediately want to come back up because if you have that balance off, I'm probably going to try to push you down or just rush into you because I'm a bigger guy. And if, 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 if we're like a real fight, let's say you did do that and you leaned all the way back and you like leaned away. No, no, no. No, you're fine. And you lean way back here. I'm going to be like, <laughs> you know, and the less the last thing you want me to do to you. Right? Okay. So, boom. Just going to move around. Boom. Good. Boom. Move with me. Don't be so stiff on your feet. Keep your hands up. Bang. Bang. Good. Bang. Good. Bang. Good. Bang. 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 Good. Bang. Good. Bang. 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 Good. Good. Nice. Okay. See how your reflexes are. Ooh, nice oh, catch. Oh, that was a good catch. That was a good catch. That was really good. No, actually, you know, do that again. Because if I wanted to, take yep. your leg, come in. Yep. <coughs> right there. Exactly. See, that would have been a good wrist lock, oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> Notice, though, how I let you come to me so I could do yeah. that push-off? See, I used that to your, to your advantage. I felt that wrist lock coming in. So that's why I went like this, and I let you come into me, and then that's when I did that. See? Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so that's what we mean by moving block. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, that's what we mean by blocking, moving, getting out of the way, always defending yourself, right? See, like, I didn't tell him I was going to throw a kick. We haven't drilled kicks, but just from that, he already knew. See? So <laughs> um, now what we'd, I like to do is I'm going to have Brandon show some of his tactical movements when it comes to wrist locks and police holds and things of that nature while I throw punches and kicks at him. So, uh, Brandon, show us a drill, buddy. Okay. I want to see this. So, well, first, let me uh, demonstrate this to you guys. I know you guys seen his uh, trainings and stuff about defense stands and stuff like that. Uh, I'm martial artist. Uh, I'm, do I'm doing it right, though, right? Yeah, yep, yep. So your feet Always stay. Be, like, about equally apart. Stay center, yeah, just relax. Now, when it comes to defense and uh, MDPS, well, we, well, there's a thing in law enforcement security, what we call strong side and this um, weak side, okay? Your strong side would be like your firearm, your maze, your tunnel, whatever, okay? Your weak side would be your radio or whatever, okay? What you want to do is when you're uh, approaching and facing towards a subject or whatever, keep your strong side. Our demonstration, my demonstration for mixed martial arts and uh, kung fu, jiu-jitsu, whatever, he's mm -hmm. trained in, whatever. There's kind of a difference between defensive stances, okay? Right. And yours, go ahead and demonstrate yours. So, in, in a real, in a defensive situation or fight, if I'm going to face him, I'm at my feet shoulder width apart, 
either whether I'm standing here for a relaxation or if I'm in a real, real fight, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, in a real fight, I'm going to take a boxing slash martial arts approach in my stance. Okay. And I've always known this. I've, you know, I've had a lot of different stances throughout my lifetime, but this is my absolute favorite one to do. So it's like I'm boxing, but I got my back hand here, right, for martial arts. Yep. And I've got my shoulder cocked here for, for yep. the shell and blocking. I've got my other hand here for martial arts, moving, blocking out of the way, and moving and slipping while having this hand mm -hmm. here for blocking while I'm moving. See, it's just say punch comes in, boom, block, block, while I'm moving at the same okay. time. Or, you know, but don't think it's all just defense up here. I'm going to do a lot of stuff on the right. backhand, but since I'm so. right-handed, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to just fight you like this in right. this stance. This is where I'm really comfortable. As to where you mm -hmm. would probably take more of a block stance like this. It's like more boxer, except you'd be more heavy on the feet, right? Right, yeah. yeah. So uh, the reason I say that and ask about that is because an MDTS and uh, 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 defensive stances for mil military, law enforcement, and security, when you're approaching someone, making contact with someone, the reason you're in those defense stances in case they try to throw something at you. So for example, oh. <laughs> and let me demonstrate that real quickly. What we have is called strong side and it's, uh, weak side, okay? Your strong side is what consists of your firearm, your baton, mason, your weapon, you know, your defensive weapons and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Your lethal defensive uh, items, okay? Your weapons is the least you ever want to go for. Try to use your hands if you can at most, okay? So, uh, for example, and the reason we do that is you want to keep your strong side with the part from your weak side so that, let's say, they try to go for you, you have enough time to reach in, right? They can't get to you because you already got a hold of them, okay? Now, let's say my strong side's facing them. Try to go for something there. Well, I have enough time to get it. I try to aim for, try to go for all my weapons. Uh, oh, more like let's say I'm going for your cuff or something? Yeah. You see, he's already got it. He's got his hands on it already, so I can't stop him at that time. I just wanted to uh, uh, throw that out to you guys. All right, now when it comes to defense and stuff, so let's say... I'm talking to you about something and you're uh, wanting to get physical and aggressive with me and stuff, okay? Yeah. So like, um, why are you doing this, why are you doing that and stuff? And you see how I'm just standing here like this, right? And you the reason I'm standing like this is because I want to get prepared to do a block or to do a um, what we call a rear, rear wrist lock, forward wrist lock, and a twist lock in case they try to get physical or throw something. So. Right. I'm in my stance, okay? Right, so she knows how, like, I, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to look like a street fighter or, like, somebody who wants a problem, so I'm, you know, I am puffing up to him a little bit like this, right? So, here's one thing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to do here, um, that he's going to show, I want him to show, is like, okay, so, let's say that I don't want to throw a punch, but I want to grab him, right? Here, let's move more towards the center of the camera here. All right, I'm going to grab him here, right? And so, with this, like, let's, uh, let me grab your shirt, right? So as a security officer, what he's gonna do, which is one of my favorite ones, is let's say you're grabbing me, mm -hmm. right? Show them this one. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm about to show them, but yeah. I want you to demonstrate. Okay. I'm gonna do it not fast, I'm just gonna do it, but I want you to demonstrate the moves one by one, like how I do Okay. Okay, so you grab me here, remember this one? So what was it? It was this, snake in, crap, crap, and you grab him right back. Oh yeah, I did that with uh, that one guy, I remember. Yeah, so- uh, Show him that one, yeah. So one day, <laughs> one day I was doing something, I was actually off duty and I didn't want to do this as the last option. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had someone that came up to me and was harassing me, threatening me and stuff. He came up to me, so say you're that guy, okay? Yeah, man, you know what, I mean, I'm really me. sick and tired of you, you know? I'm, I, can't, I can't, yep. Yeah. Right, you want to come in like that, and then what you do is, you want to dig him up to the wall like that. Yep. But that's what I did though. Mm -hmm. All right, so now to, now get to, not to get to defense and stuff like that, okay, so. Um, he's gonna say, come in at me, okay? Like I'm throwing a punch? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you wanna come in like that? You see how I got my wrist right here? What I'm gonna do is, oh, no, bend no. it in like this. Yeah. You feel that joint? Mm -hmm. oh, this I'm is what we call a rear wrist lock, okay? Yep. You come in back here. Yep. Yep. Now let's face the camera so they can see it. Yeah. You see how I've got them uh, control like that? You're supposed to feel that pressure point. It's, a, it's called a joint lock is what it is. It's a rear wrist lock, but it's a joint that, that you need to get control of. So like now try to move. Just, yeah, now all you gotta do is just like point my wrist up and do it. I'm telling you. Yeah, you like, see, he can't move. Even with one hand, try to move. Uh oh. He can't move, okay? <laughs> you come back and get the other one, oh, no. same thing. You have total control of them. <sighs> That's what we call a rear wrist lock, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what we're gonna do is called a twist lock, okay? It's kind of the same thing. Is it that one where you keep my arm straight, except you just push in like that and make me do this? Basically, is it that one? Well, that that no, that was more like a forward wrist lock. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're talking about like come at me. 
Like, they're gonna like, come at me. Like you know how you had me like this. Now I realize that as I grab there now, just push my wrist up and forward, like make pressure into my joint, but keep my arm stiff. Like 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 stiff with this arm. So like push in while pulling here. Let me show you. Here's what I'm talking about. Like you're talking this about? one here where you do this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a rear wrist lock. Yeah, so you so you are pushing forward and you're going that's down like that. No, because even when they bend in, it's still like ah, oh, because it's putting yeah. all that pressure there. That's a I rear. thought that's what you were gonna do. No, that's a rear wrist lock. So what's a twist lock? A twist lock, okay. You're gonna come in here around him like that, right? And he's complying with you, okay? Say he's complying with yeah, you, okay? Yeah. You're gonna grab him. Oh, like he's gonna get like forceful with you. Now what you're gonna do oh, is like you know what, man. Like you're no, man. Come in like cool. this. Like I think I'm cool, but then I want to come at you. Right? You want to take his wrist. You want to twist it around, right? And he should be feeling that joint too, okay? Oh, man, you got your thumb right there, and that I was hurting. <laughs> and that's where you do a twist lock, okay? You come yeah. back in, and that's yeah. how you do a twist lock. It's kind of like a rear lock, but except you're gonna twist his wrist around while having to still down on the side and another good way of putting uh of doing that um hard body uh joint manipulation is that if he wanted to while he's coming around grab me like that again he can twist his fingers grab my skin and twist on my skin if i'm resisting to make me nothing resist less mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because like think about it if he's putting all that pressure on me and i'm like i don't want this and he just cranks this and cranks my wrist at the same time yeah Ooh, it's not a good day for me all right now let's go over an arm bar takedown okay all right. So. Well, an armbar takedown is basically you're in an escort position. You're you're escorting someone out by grabbing onto their arm. So, for example, it's kind of like a twist lock, but you're not putting them in a twist. Okay, you're just like putting a little pressure on them so they can't move. They'll still have a little like movement to move around and stuff, mm -hmm. but that's when they start to get like all like aggressive and stuff. So, say for example, he starts to get aggressive, right? And real so. quick, this is different than an armbar like while laying on the ground, right? This is right. a standing arm, not a standing armbar, but this. No, an arm bar is basically, you see my hand right here? Yeah. I'm going to come up around, go like this. Yeah, that one. I'm going to yeah. go like that. Yeah. And then my foot's going to come in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to like uh, press down on your kneecap yep. so you lose control and that's yep. when you go to the ground. Yep. That's one, yeah, okay. I had a feeling it was going to be that one. That's, that's a great one, especially if you can pull it off first punch. Let's say I throw a jab and he, he immediately, yep. Right. Oh, earlier. Or uh, here, you show it since you, okay. they can hear you better. So what we're doing is we're going over an arm bar takedown. A twist lock arm bar takedown okay so what you do is so i'm in my defense stance okay and he's gonna come in with me at a jab right i'm gonna come in like this see where my hand is and my uh, left hand's got a hold of his wrist i'm gonna come in like this and twist my hand you see up how my hand is going over yep. i'm gonna go in like this ah, yep. and you're gonna go in yep. as an arm bar right. okay and that's the same thing like he did with his first drill so like i'm gonna go in right he's gonna grab his jab go in like that Right. And that does hurt. That is painful. You don't want to be in a situation. We'll go over those two demonstrations, uh, fast movement, so you guys get an idea of what it's like. Right. Okay, so here's the first drill. Ah. Okay, that was his drill, okay? And then here's the other one. Here's the arm bar, okay? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So those are the two movements you want to go for is for on the arms and the elbows. Right. And here's the thing is that now I know when it comes the reason we're discussing about the mic thing is because I'm actually new to this. So I'm starting my own channel about advice videos and, and training videos and that kind of stuff. And you know, I'm motivated into it and I want to help you guys out and be there when you guys need help, assistance and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know. But uh, um, I don't want to say like where I'm at, how am I learning this stuff and you know, things like that. But it's going to be like for personal things yeah. and stuff like that so right. i just want to throw that out to you guys too all right cool first block defense throw hit and then you saw the block block hit and then you saw the um don't let their hands up and then you saw the arm bar throw so the thing is that sure we might be throwing drilled punches but the thing is that even though that they're drilled punches and we know that they're coming it's always good to train for the situations for if you don't know that they're coming and it is true the hit that you don't see coming is going to hurt the most and like i said it might look like pitter patter stuff or like this wouldn't really work or that wouldn't really work but like i said that's why we train everything so that we can know how to get out of every situation right so let's say again let's say you're just a boxer right and you're just a big old boxer right well i could use boxing or i could use martial arts and boxing and use and use that against you right especially if I know how to fight centered line like I do. See, when it comes to boxing, all you know how to do is fight around me, right? You know, like a circle. But if I stay here, right, see, I'm still blocking and I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's the point. Boxers aren't going to know that. Right. You know what I mean? 
right? Or if you uh, if you're using, you know, just wrestling, I can use wrestling too, or I can also use it against you. Let's say you go for my legs, I can, you know, go give you one of these and hit you with an elbow. That's that might stop you from wrestling me down. But it's good to know every single style, or at least have a good equivalent of what you're doing, so that way you can. Well, keep it fresh, right? So ever since I was five, I started with Taekwondo. Let me let me name these off. Uh, taekwondo, Karate, Hapkido, Aikido, Judo, uh, Jiu-Jitsu, Boxing, Kickboxing, Muay Thai, Kung Fu, the animal forms of Kung Fu, including Drunken Fist, Jeet Kune Do, Wing Chun, uh, uh, some uh, tactical training, some, ninja, uh, some ninjutsu training, I've, and I'm still practicing today, still doing my boxing and still doing my Wing Chun. So, like, I might not be a master or a black belt, but, you know, a lot of people think, oh, he's not really that good. Well, I actually used to fight back in my day. I'm not just all demonstration and things like that. I actually used to be a legitimate fighter, but, you know, I'm married now. So, honestly, I'm just trying to live the married life. I don't know if it's worth getting the injuries, but the thing is that, like I always say, and like we always say, we train to fight so we don't have to. So that way we can just, it's just about defending yourself. Man. You know? Another thing I want to say too is your legs and feet are the biggest thing when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. Like uh, one night, like I learned this stuff through police exploring and the military academy when I was in the military academy high school, and then police exploring too when I was like uh, 13, 14, something like yeah. that. So I learned this stuff at a young age too, but uh, and I'm still learning this stuff today too. Not only you know online, but Kobe, uh, work, training, and stuff like that. So I'm still learning more as I go on. But I learned a lot of this stuff at a young age too. Mostly through police exploring the military academy. Your feet and legs are the biggest thing too when it comes to uh, defense and like uh, takedowns and breakdowns too. Well, that's just like with anything. Like, I'm so not like, just going to punch you like this. I'm going to put my whole body behind it. Right. I'm not just going to kick you. I'm going to use my legs. Behind. Like, you don't get the power from up here. Like, you do. But if you don't, you, like you said, if you don't use your legs, what have you got? Right. Like, so the reason I say my legs is because in our field, there are times you need to use your legs too as mm -hmm. a weapon. Right. If you have to break down a door or if you have to like, uh, a little kick teeth kick, yeah. down or something. Like one night I was at his house, we were hanging out, a couple of his, uh, a couple guys were over, they were, you know, doing some goofy stuff. They locked the doors on us and, uh, his, well, his, um, yeah. fr friend, I want to say. Yeah. I had to have surgery the next day, she needed to get some sleep, and uh, that's where my training came in, especially with my legs, because I did what was called a... Uh, a teep kick, or, yeah, a, or a an inward, kick. yeah. Or a breakdown, you mm -hmm. know, you use a lot of excessive force with your leg. Yep. So that's why that comes in handy, too. Right. And that, those can be pretty painful, too, because I have actually done one on him before by mistake, not on purpose. Oh, yeah, no, we were just sparring around and hit me in the chest, and I was like, ah! <laughs> it, was, it was good, though, yeah, yeah. So, and I know a lot of times we'd show a lot of hand stuff. Next video we do, we are going to show you a lot of kicks, but I'm just trying to show you the equivalent of what would happen in most street fights, because let's be honest, most people in street fights aren't going to kick. They're going to punch, and they're going to punch lazy and not know what they're doing. That's why it's good to learn how to slip and roll and just, you know, block all the way. So what I would like to finish off with is, so we're going to go over the first couple of drills again, and then we're going to go over his drills just for demonstration purposes, and then we're going to finish off. So, okay, ready? All right. So you throw that right at me first. Boom, boom, boom here, uh -huh. boom. All right, it doesn't matter if I'm hitting him or not, if I'm, you know, just, you know, that, okay. And then let's do the left hand, right? Remember, bang, 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 there, okay. And then second drill, so you throw that jab at me, or with that right, whatever, boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom. You can throw a knee, you can come down here, you can hit him with an elbow, whatever, right? So then you throw the other hand at me again, bang, bang. I'm sorry, I blocked with the wrong arm, but it, I mean, it's still the same equivalent. Sorry, let's do that again. So bang, 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 bang. Well, you, like I said, you can also do that. Remember, our third one is, oh, you can put your hands up like you want to fight me. Hey, like, boom, 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 whatever. And then, what was that other one that, uh... Was it the one that I showed you? The other one? Oh, yeah, the arm bar right away. Was it? Like, no, I'm trying... wasn't the... Wasn't the oh, the, uh... Thing with the clamps? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like this, I'm like that, and you trap my arm. Yep, there you go, that one. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, the other one was that arm bar. Have it to you. Boom. Boom. Yep. Oh, yep, that, that really hurt. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. The other drill member, so let's do a little head movement while throwing punches, right? So I'm just doing this, right? And I'm going to throw little punches at you, too. So I want you to have, move a little bit, too, as well, right? Yep. And I'm waiting for you to 
See, that's what I'm saying. So, like, that's why you don't anticipate. See, notice how I'm waiting for the punches to come. I'm not moving and then letting right. the punch come in because that's how you hit me. Yeah. All right, so it's better to be loose and not be so stiff. So that way, if I throw that, boom. See how you already blocked that? Good. Okay. So that's the equivalent of what we're trying to do when we're showing our tactical martial arts mixed with our kung fu and boxing and all that fun stuff mixed together. Comes with Jeet Kune Do or little Wing Chun, whatever. So, um, yeah, this has been Carbon Seed Capshaw, slash Mr. Smiles a lot. And this has been Brandon Kachar slash Security Coach 314. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. We had a lot of fun making this video. Uh, hope that besides my marketing and advertising, you guys come to me if you need a martial arts coach or if women need well, women's self-defense classes, um, I can teach you how to do that as well. So anyway, guys, we want to say thank you very much, and we will see you all next time.